I'm very proud of standing here. Once upon a time was a car park. I came a year ago, perhaps, and I couldn't believe here in this little plot of land we could build this magnificent, huge hospital. We're gonna be an addition, a place of hope, a place of development, a place of quality and kindness. We not just gonna do good for the patients trusted to us, but also for the people working with us to enhance the life of those patients. Walking round to the facilities that you've all got, what stands out to me is how calming it all is, how many colours there are and how welcome it is. I think you've thought of absolutely everything. And I think this is something that Wolverhampton has needed for such a long time. I'm also glad Albury's having one, but I am exceptionally <laughs> pleased I've got one in Wolverhampton. And I'm sure it will be supported greatly by everybody. And I'm sure everybody here will agree what a fantastic service that we have here. My name is Ewan and I'm honoured to stand before you today to speak about the important impact this service will have on the local community. Having been part of a service like this, I speak from experience. It was the unwavering support and guidance of the staff who were working in hospital when I was there that gave me the strength to get better and improve my life. This service will have an impact on your community and people's futures. This service will heal homes, restore faith to families, and generate more sustainable futures. The team will provide an understanding of self, the necessary tools to stay healthy, and the foundation for positive progression. I am confident that this place will be a turning point for many families, households, and communities, offering hope and transformation, just as it has done for my family and home. I think the one big reflection I just want to very briefly share is I think this hospital and the Albury Hospital, they really signify what I think is a revolution in mental health care over the last 30 or 40 years. And I don't use that word lightly. I think there really has been a revolution. We now have modern, bright facilities such as this, co-designed with experts by experience, right in the heart of communities, next to the roads, next to all local amenities, where local families and people can come and visit. But the main thing is mental health is now actually, I think, at the cutting edge of new buildings, new design, but also of treatment and care and basing that all around involving service users and experts. I want to say a special thank you to one person, a fantastic guy called Brian Sean. Brian Sean was our maintenance man in a place very near to here called Sedgley House. Uh, we have the family today with us. Uh, Brian was a, a, a very humble guy, was our maintenance uh, operative in Sedgley House and Sedgley Lodge. He was just gold dust, was perhaps one of the examples to follow across the whole company. He always had time to spend with the patients, always had time to be with the staff. He was nothing too much, too little, and he was part of that family, part of Sedgley House. When we came around and we said, you know, how we want to call the, the hospital was an easy one, you know, Signet Hospital Wolverhampton, because we are in Wolverhampton, but how we want to call the wards, everybody, without doubt, um, mentioned Brian, Brian Sean, which passed away in May 19. Brian always said something very interesting. He says, look, just five minutes of your time can make such a difference to people's lives. Okay, we declare this open. Open.